This tutorial will cover four examples, each increasing in complexity. The first example iterator simply cycles through the vector and with each value multiplies it by two. It then collects the results into the result vector. The second example does the same thing, except at the end it sums all the results. This particular function actually comes from a neural network. The third example is a little more complicated. It uses the iterator adapter, which returns two values, the first value being the count of where the particular vector is at, and the second is the value in the vector itself. The reason why the enumerator adapter is used in this situation is so that the first value is skipped, and this is done using the filter adapter. Finally, it returns the resulting values into a string. The final iterator example is included as a way to show how multiple adapters can be combined. So in the first mat adapter, a space is added between each value in the vector. Then finally, any quote marks are removed in the second map adapter. The flatten adapter creates an iterator that flattens a nested structure. I've also included an example from the Rust documentation to show how the flatten adapter works. It's fairly self-explanatory. As always, this code is available on GitHub. You can look at the video description to find out where the address is. I hope that you found this tutorial helpful.